Hi guys, I'm Sugarberry and welcome back to another Vintage Toy Haul video. Hello! Today I have a variety of toys to show you. It's a real mix and they all come from kind of different places. Some come from the one-of-a-kind uh, antique mall in Woodstock, Ontario, Canada. Some come from people that were selling toys on Facebook Marketplace. And a lot of these came from my adventures in thrifting. Okay, toy number one in this haul is, this is Castaspella. And Castaspella is from the Shira toy line, which was released by Mattel uh, between 1984 and 1987. Shira is from a planet called, or she lives on a planet called Etheria. And on that planet, there are seven different kingdoms from what I understand. <laughs> And one of those kingdoms is called Mysticor, and Castaspella is the queen of Mysticor. So Castaspella has some interesting powers. She has the power of hypnosis. Uh, she can cast spells. She can, I have it written down here, she can teleport, and she is an enchantress. And so there was a Shira cartoon back in the 80s as well, and in the show, uh, Shira is the princess of power and she is kind of the leader of this great rebellion against the bad guys. <laughs> um, Hordak, I think, is the name of the, the antagonist in the show. And um, Castaspella is also part of that great rebellion. Oh, Castaspella! Uh, she's a friend of Shira's as well. So Castaspella is from wave one of the toy line. There were three waves of toys in the Shira toy line. Uh, so wave one was released in 1984. Um, she's got this really bright, beautiful red hair. I really love that. And vivid blue makeup. Really cool. Um, she's got this orange bodysuit, kind of with like a lightning um, pattern on it and she's got her little gem in the, the middle of her chest here. Her boots are really cool. They're kind of like an off-white color with almost a lightning pattern in them. Apparently I was reading that some of these Castaspella dolls were released um, just with like a solid light yellow boot instead of with the lightning pattern. So I was lucky to find this one. I don't think it's a rare thing but it's still cool, I think. So she came with this yellow net skirt with this kind of golden material. Um, she came with this, they call it a collar. I call it like a, well, I don't know what I call it. Shoulder covers, <laughs> fancy shoulder covers. I don't think so, champ. Um, she also came with um, a spinning disc. So like a disc that would attach to her back. So she's got this hole in her back and you could, it was this round disc that had this kind of a shiny pattern on it. Ew, what does it do? And the idea was that when it was spinning, she could hypnotize people. She also came with a pink comb and a mini comic. She's in pretty good shape. Her hair needs to be brushed and washed um, and styled a little bit. Um, her makeup, as you can see, is in really good shape. Uh, she does have a bit of discoloration on one of her legs. It's a slightly different color than the other one. You might not be able to see this in the in this light, but um, yeah, I just wanted to show you what she looks like without her um, outfit on. And like I said, she's got the hole in the back to put the uh, spinning disc so she can hypnotize people. <laughs> um, she does have a little bit of um, like a blue mark right here that will probably come off I imagine I don't it doesn't look like it's difficult to get off so we'll try that see what happens okay next toy in this haul I'm excited about this one uh, this is another G1 My Little Pony from year one so this is Bluebell and she was released in year one, which was 1982. Um, and she was released with six, or there was a total of six ponies released this year. So five other ones besides her. Um, and then all six of those were re-released in year two. Um, 
but with different feet. So I did kind of talk about Bluebell in a previous video um, because I did get her in another <laughs> in another um, uh, haul, but the one I got before has the concave feet and she's a slightly different color. She may have just faded, um, but the one that I got from the one of a kind antique mall uh, is from year one and she's got the flat feet, which is really cool. So now I have one of each. Marvelous. But you can see the color difference there. Um, but yeah, I think this girl is really pretty. They've got really um, like a light purple, almost periwinkle um, color scheme on the body with all these beautiful stars, uh, purple hair. This one, the tail is way too long. I don't think it's supposed to be that long. Hmm, there's something not right here. Uh, she, and she has tail rust. I can see she's, she's got some tail rust in there. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with her tail. I'm gonna have to, I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to open her up and investigate and figure out what's going on with her. Um, but her mane is in really good shape. She's got a, a pen mark on her face there, but I think I can get that off. A um, little bit dirty on the bottom of her hooves there, but really not bad. She's not missing any hair or anything like that. Pretty blue eyes. Beautiful. And the original blue bell originally came with a white tail ribbon and a white comb. So originally, like within the first couple of years, um, all six of those ponies all kind of had the same back card story in the US. So that back card story said, my little pony is a pretty pony with long shiny hair. She likes you to comb her hair so it stays silky and soft. You can braid her tail and tie it in a ribbon too. But in the UK, uh, they were a little bit more creative and they created individual um, backstories for each of the original six ponies. Um, Bluebells goes, Bluebell loves to explore the woods to find the first bluebells of spring. She treads daintily through the bushes and pushes the leaves away till she smells the delicious perfume of her favorite flowers. Ah, lovely. Okay, you guys, next toy is another My Little Pony. Uh, this is Sunlight, and she looks like a G1 My Little Pony, but she's not. Huh? <laughs> she's one of the 35th anniversary ponies. Um, I bought her, so I saw her in a bag at Value Village, and uh, it tricked me, and I wasn't thinking and didn't look at the bottom of her foot. I just assumed she was a G1 and then I got home and I was a little disappointed <laughs> because I don't have sunlight yet and I was like wow this one's in really good condition um, but I should have known <laughs> I should have known <laughs> um, but she's still really cute and I'm gonna keep her because they did a really good job on these 35th anniversary ponies um, her cutie mark is gold clouds with a silver moon and she's got, she's clearly a rainbow pony. She's got the rainbow hair, uh, rainbow tail as well. It almost looks like her tail's been cut unless they were released that way on purpose. It seems a little short to me. Um, purple eyes. And I really love this green color. I don't know what it is about this mint green that draws me so much, but I really like it. <laughs> Look at the pretty color. Uh, so the original Sunlight was released 1983-84, uh, I believe. So within the first couple of years of uh, My Little Pony being released. And apparently these 35th anniversary ponies are scented. And this one is, yeah, I can smell it. It smells really good, actually. That's really cool. So she's in pretty good condition. She's got some watermarks or some dirt in different spots. What does her hoof say? 2017 Hasbro, uh, made in China. And they all came with these ribbons, I believe, that were sewn into their tails, from what I understand. Uh, they also came with a rainbow brush. So Sunlight's original back card story was that she 
was out in the meadow playing games with her shadow. And the brighter the sun shone, the more beautiful her shadow became. It, and eventually it started to look very, very much like a rainbow. Um, and they were playing hide and seek, which is quite funny because, and it kind of makes her seem like she's not the brightest of ponies because uh, she was trying to hide from her shadow and she couldn't figure out why this shadow kept finding her. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, she was playing hide and seek with her shadow. Um, suddenly the clouds cover the sun and her shadow disappears. And she's looking all over for her shadow. <laughs> she can't find it. She's shouting, where are you? I guess she must have realized that it was because the clouds covered the sun that she couldn't find her shadow. And she started to sing the rain, rain, go away, come again, another day song. And the wind blew really hard and blew the clouds away from the sun. And suddenly her shadow came back and they had a great time together playing in the meadow. Next toy is this little girl. Uh, this is Butter Cookie and she is from the Strawberry Shortcake toy line. Um, she was released in 1981. Strawberry Shortcake released by Kenner between 1979 and 1985. Um, they were all these like confectionery themed or fruit themed uh, dolls. So there was Lime Chiffon and Strawberry Shortcake um, this is Butter Cookie. She is a baby. And in the 80s uh, cartoon, the Strawberry Shortcake cartoon, she was just learning how to crawl. And she's this really cute little thing that doesn't really say a whole lot. <laughs> she's probably just learning how to talk as well. Um, and, she, and each of the Strawberry Shortcake characters have a pet. So hers is named Jelly Bear and he's this little um, really light yellow uh, teddy bear. Little jelly bear, bet your butter cookies there. So I did find this girl at Value Village. Um, I found her like this, she's naked. Um, she originally would have come with um, like a little yellow bonnet with um, green and white stripes around the top. The brim is, is just plain yellow, I believe. Um, and then she also had this like one piece little uh, baby sleeper. Uh, outfit that was uh, white and yellow. Yeah, so she's in okay shape. Her hair needs work. Every time I find a toy, their hair needs work. Not a surprise. <laughs> um, but other than that, she's looking good. She's just missing her outfit. Um, yeah, cute little freckles on her uh, on her cheeks there, and then green eyes. Very cute. My next toy uh, is, so I, I also got this toy at Value Village and it came in the same bag as Butter Cookie uh, from Strawberry Shortcake. Um, Lime Chiffon, also a Strawberry Shortcake character. Um, this is a duplicate for me. I already have Lime Chiffon um, and I already did a video on her. Um, so if you want to check out that video, it's actually the second video. So video number two uh, that I let I released. Um, the one I got before is actually in better shape than this. This one, her hair really is in really rough shape. I think it, I think it can be saved, but it'll take a bit of work. Um, and she's naked, as you can see. Um, but other than that, her body is looking good. She's got green eyes and freckles. And um, you can see the size difference between um, Butter Cookie the baby and Lime Chiffon, who's supposed to be an older child, I think. I don't think they're adults. They're still children. <laughs> um, but yeah, really cute. And then in the same bag, I got Custard. And Custard is also from the Strawberry Shortcake line. Uh, Custard is the pet of Strawberry Shortcake herself. Um, so Custard is a little pink cat with uh, white polka dots. And she was released in 1981. And in the Strawberry Shortcake cartoon, Custard was, like I said, she was Strawberry Shortcake's pet, um, but she was really lazy. Little sour Custard. Actually, I'm not sure if Custard is a she or a he. I might have to look into that, but I'm not really sure. 
Um, but yeah, apparently she was this, or he or she was this really lazy cat. Custard is from the front. She looks fantastic. Um, but the sad part is when you turn her around, she has a big hole in her butt. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> part of her tail here is missing and she's got um, like a little pen mark there, which I think I can probably get off, but yeah, I mean, I don't really know how that could be fixed, maybe with some sort of clay or something like that, but I wouldn't even know where to begin with that, to be honest with you. But she still looks good on display when you see her from the front, so definitely going to put her with my strawberry shortcake, um, my other strawberry shortcake figures that I already have on display. So like I said, I got a bag with all those, with these uh, different strawberry shortcake figures in them, uh, in the bag. Um, Sometimes when you get these bags, you also get other things in the bags that you don't necessarily want. Um, they purposely group things together to try, try to sell them to you. Um, things that maybe they can't necessarily get rid of unless they group them with more popular items. Um, but I did get this in the same bag. Um, it's this little girl <laughs> doll with purple hair and she's got this almost like a flower it looks like a flower petal dress, which is really dirty or stained or something. Um, yeah, her hair is in rough shape. It's really falling out. Every time you touch it, it just kind of falls out. Ooh, ooh, you gotta be careful with that. Yeah, it's not looking great. Um, it's like a rat's nest back there. Um, I don't know what to say about this doll. I've, I've, I've tried to find her online. Sorry, I have something in my eye, so I apologize if I seem a little creepy today and like going like this a lot. Oh, you're not so scary. But anyways, I think she's from the 80s. She looks old, like she's got that look to her. Um, maybe like a clone or a fakey of like strawberry shortcake or of like rose petal place dolls or something like that. Um, but like I said, I tried to find her online. I couldn't find anything about her. So if you know, please tell me in the comments uh, what she is. Um, I would really love to know. Also, I think it was the same day that I was at Value Village getting the, lady, or the strawberry shortcake dolls. I found this little guy. This is Lucky from Care Bears. We've sure collected a lot of stuff over the years. Um, so Lucky is green and Lucky has a four-leaf clover as his, I want to say cutie mark because I'm so used to My Little Pony, but oh, no, no, no. as his belly symbol. I don't know a whole lot about this little guy. I know a little bit more about the three-inch posable uh, Care Bear figures, but this little guy, from what I could tell online, um, he is a cake topper, or was a cake topper. Um, he's a mini Care Bear figure. And um, we know he's a Care Bear because he's got this little heart right here on his bottom. Um, he's looking in good shape. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what year he was released. It does say TCFC um, on the bottom of him, but no year. But I think he, I think he's, he's vintage. He's from the 80s, I'm guessing. Or 90s. Okay, this next toy is a G1 My Little Pony. Um, and I got her from a seller on Facebook Marketplace, kind of in my area. I drove to their house and picked it up. When I saw the picture online, well, let me show you first. So I got this this G1 My Little Pony. And this is Baby Blossom. Now normally, Baby Blossom is like this really light lavender purple color. Um, but this girl is, she's like a beige color, almost like a light off-white color. Um, so when I saw her in the picture, I thought maybe, oh, maybe she's a variant. So I picked her up thinking maybe she's a variant from another country or, but I'm kind of wondering now if maybe she's just sun faded 
um, that's very possible. <laughs> it does say 1984 Hasbro on her hoof, uh, made in Hong Kong. I'm assuming she's just so sun faded that there's no purple left and it's just this really light um, beige color. Maybe. I have seen, um, doing research, I have seen that there are variants that are this color, but I think they're more like the Mexican variants. But if you know something that I don't, maybe this is a variant that I'm not aware of, please tell me in the comments. What do you think? But anyways, <laughs> Baby Blossom was released in year three, so 1984, um, and she was released with the Play and Care sets. So I know in previous videos I've talked a little bit about like baby cotton candy, um, but anyway, there was a whole bunch of baby, um, baby ponies that were released with these Play and Care sets and each of the sets came with various baby-related accessories, uh, such as diapers, toys, and Baby Blossom came with an aqua-colored rocker, um, a bib with a heart on it, a baby bottle, a rattle, a necklace that says baby on it, a diaper in a box, and a pink bear brush. Blossom's cutie mark is flowers little flowers on as her cutie mark. Um, so of course her backstory is related to flowers. Blossom, so there's a, a mom blossom or an adult blossom and a baby blossom and they both love flowers. They both love to garden. Um, I think they even eat flowers if I, if I remember correctly. Um, but baby blossom's back card story was that she was out in the garden admiring all her flowers and I think her intention was to um, like pick a bouquet of flowers for her mom to surprise her mom. Um, so she went out there and she saw this really pretty flower that was orange with black stripes and she thought oh that's really cool I'll pick those and um, give that to my mom as a surprise. Um, so she went to pick it and it flew away and it said, hey, I'm not a flower, I'm a monarch butterfly. <laughs> so then Baby Blossom was kind of disappointed because she really wanted um, to surprise her mom with this really cool bouquet of flowers. Seeing that Baby Blossom was disappointed that this was a butterfly and not a, a flower, uh, the monarch butterfly said, hey, I can still help you out. And all of this monarch butterfly's friends came and they all gathered together and sat together in a little bouquet in the garden. So Baby Blossom could still surprise her mom with this beautiful bouquet of what looked like flowers, <laughs> but actually was butterflies. <laughs> okay, next toys. Um, this grouping of toys I got from somebody on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, she was selling them all together in a lot for a really good price, so I couldn't pass it up. And these are some of my favorite toys. Uh, so I got Made in Curly Crown from the Lady Lovely Lux toy line. I got Duchess Raven Waves from the Lady Lovely Lux toy line and Prince Strongheart from the Lady Lovely Locks toy line. So now I have, I think, all of wave one of these dolls, which I'm really excited about because I think you can see kind of behind my head here, I, there's Maiden Fair Hair and the original Lady Lovely Locks, which I'm so excited about. Oh, this is exciting. So I'll start with Prince Strongheart. Like I said, he's from the Lady Lovely Locks toy line and he is from Wave 1. Uh, there were three waves of these dolls. Um, wave 1 was released in 1986. Um, and Prince Strongheart is, of course, the valiant, brave prince of this, uh, of the cartoon back in the 80s. And um, I think his love interest is Lady Lovely Locks herself. I think actually in the show, I was actually kind of watching, half watching the show uh, the other day, just out of curiosity, because it's been years since I was a little kid and was watching it. But anyways, in the show, Prince Strongheart turns himself into a dog, I think. And it's like this big secret because he really loves Lady Lovely Locks and he wants to tell her how he feels, but the whole time he's in the form of a dog. I don't 100% remember why, um, but yeah, it's 
I mean, kind of a cute romance. <laughs> How romantic! As you can see, Prince Strongheart has this really light brown hair. He's looking pretty tan. Um, he's wearing this dark blue cape with the iconic Lady Lovely Luxe um, little tabs here where you can attach the pixie tails. You can clip them on there. Um, he's wearing this cream colored top or it lo looks like a blouse and this gold belt with an orange center here. Uh, blue pants and these dark or these gray uh, boots. So the only thing he's missing actually is his hat, which is the same material as this cape, the same color. Um, but other than that, he's complete. And there's more. Well, actually, no, that's a lie. He's also missing some pixie tails. He would have had um, little mouse pixie tails. And then Duchess Raven Waves, who is also from wave one of the, this uh, Lady Lovely Locks toy line. And she is the antagonist in this show, so she's the villain. There are great possibilities here. Um, and she is jealous of Lady Lovely Locks and her kingdom. And she's constantly trying to sabotage Lady Lovely Locks in whatever way she can. She originally came with this dress, which you can see is there's a lot of stains on it. And her legs have that classic Lady Lovely Locks discoloration going on. Um, yeah, I've said it before in other videos, this happens a lot with Lady Lovely Locks dolls. There's nothing you can do about it. I mean, her dress covers it, so it's not the end of the world. She would have originally come with this dress um, to comb gnomes. So comb gnomes were just kind of like pixie tails, um, except they were like these little gnome looking guys. Um, she came with gnome holders, so they were these little glittery, almost like the regular Lady Lovely Locks tabs where you could hook the pixie tails to them. And then she had purple shoes and a purple pixie tail comb. Um, but as you can see, uh, like I said, her dress is really stained there. That's gonna take some work. Her hair also is gonna require some work. There's an elastic in there. I don't like that when they put elastics in the hair. Um, her makeup is really pretty. She's got the really purpley makeup that matches her dress, but really soft. And the back of her dress has the snap closure here. And then we have Maiden Curly Crown. I love Maiden Curly Crown. Bright yellow dress, bright vivid orangey hair. She just stands out and I like that a lot. I actually already got her dress in another one of my Lady Lovely Locks lots in a previous video, um, but this dress is in much better shape than the one I got before. Um, it's got the classic Lady Lovely Locks iridescent fabric and lace and it's nice and poofy and princessy. And she's got the two tabs for the, the pixie tails. Um, so in the show, she is Lady Lovely Locks' friend, um, along with Maiden Fairhair, who is the brown-haired girl behind me there. <laughs> um, and the three of them are friends. And like I said, she came with this bright yellow dress. She would have originally also come with bright yellow shoes to match, three bird pixie tails, and a yellow pixie tail comb. And then along with these Lady Lovely Locks dolls, I also got a few um, pixie tails. So I got two, two bunnies and two chipmunk pixie tails. So I got this pink bunny with um, a purple and yellow tail. I think there's a bit of orange in there too. Pink, purple, yellow tail. And she's from the original Lady Lovely Locks doll. She would have originally come with the blonde girl behind me. You can barely see her there behind everything. I got this other pink bunny pixie tail, but the tail is more just a uh, yellow and orangey salmon-y kind of color. Um, and she came with Lady Lovely Locks's horse, Silky Mane, um, which was a purple horse that came, that you could purchase um, and was Lady Lovely Locks's horse. And then I got this pink chipmunk. So I'll show you the difference between the 
chipmunks and the rabbits. It's kind of hard to see, but the rabbits have the long ears and the chipmunks don't, but very similar. Um, so this chipmunk came with the original Maiden Fair Hair, who was the brown haired girl behind me. And then I got a green chipmunk with this almost yellow and green, bluish green tail. And she also came with the original Maiden Fair Hair. So I think I have a total of five pixie tails now in my collection. Um, there's many, many more. Um, so I'm hoping to collect them all, of course, to go with each of the dolls. Okay, next toy that I got is another one of my thrifting finds. I got it from Value Village and um, it's actually a G1 My Little Pony, but she is a duplicate for me. Um, I already talked about her. This is Sunspot and I talked about her in video number six and she's a sparkle pony and she was released year six, year seven. Other Sunspot that I got, here's my other one. I think I got them both from the same thrift store. Don't you remember? I don't remember now. It's been so long, I don't remember. But anyways, um, they both have loose, uh, <laughs> they both have similar issues. <laughs> they both have loose um, tail washers and they both have, if you'll notice, both of their manes are white and both of their tails are pink. Hmm. So I remember mentioning that in my previous video where I was like, oh, maybe it's just a one-off one thing where this pony, I don't know, something happened where the head was in the sun and the tail wasn't or something. But now I have two of them with the exact same thing. So maybe they use two different kinds of hair on them. I don't know. It's kind of, kind of funny. Um, but anyways, the first one I got is in much better shape. The second one that I just got not too long ago when thrifting is, like I said, her metal tail washer is right in here. And I think it's caused some rusting down in the bottom of her foot there. That's kind of one of the benefits of these uh, sparkle ponies is you can actually see through them. Um, so you can see if there's any issues inside without pulling the head off. Um, and her cutie mark here on this side is scratched. I don't know if that's gonna come off. Somebody took some, something blue and just kind of rubbed it against there. So I will try to get it off. I'm just afraid I'm gonna take the whole cutie mark off with it if I try too hard. Um, but the other side looks really good. It still has the sunshine, the cutie mark. Um, she's just the standard. Uh, sunspot. She's not the mail order one with the uh, sun on the cheek. So yeah, that's Sunspot. Another duplicate, My Little Pony for me, and I'm not complaining. The next toy that I got uh, was again from Value Village in my thrifting adventures. And this is Gem. Watch this. And Gem is from Gem and the Holograms. Gem was a cartoon that was released in 1985, or it aired in 1985, and it went for a couple of years, but the dolls themselves weren't released till the year after, so 1986. Um, so this is Gem herself, or Jerrica is her alternative name. And um, so the story with Gem is that in real life, she's normal life. She's her name is Jerrica, and she, with the help of her magic earrings, are this artificial intelligence named Synergy. She can create holograms uh, of herself and other people and other things, <laughs> outrageous, which is really cool. So, like I said, normally she's Jerrica but with the help of her earrings and the hologram technology, she transforms into Gem. This, this whole ability of hers to transform or to, to create these holograms is a big secret, except for um, the people in her band. They, they know the secret, like her Gem and the Holograms uh, band. <laughs> like I said, Gem and the Holograms was a rock band and each of the characters in the band were also released in doll form, just like uh, Gem here. They were all 
tall, like 12 and a half inches tall, uh, which is taller than Barbie. And they're all more articulated than Barbie. They all have um, articulated wrists and arms and waists. You can move their waists a little bit more and their legs. So they had these big flashy clothes, um, vibrant makeup, as you can see uh, with Jem here, bright pink and blue, uh, <laughs> purple makeup, which is really cool. I like that. So this doll, she has blonde hair um, and pink at the back. It's kind of two-toned, really light pink. It's hard to tell almost on camera. And then her earrings, if you'll notice on the back, she's got a battery compartment there. So if you turn it on, her earrings flash. Um, I haven't tried it yet, so I don't even know if it works. I haven't put a battery in it. Um, so I will try that. Um, but yeah, she would have originally had clothes, of course. <laughs> she had uh, two different outfits. So she had a gem outfit and she had a Jerrica outfit. So the gem was outfit was more of like a rock star, shiny dress kind of thing. And her Jerrica outfit was more of like a day outfit. So it was a blue and white striped um, outfit with a matching hat. And she came with uh, tights, two pairs of uh, high heels or pumps, a microphone, a hair pick, a bracelet, a reversible belt, sunglasses, a rock poster, and a stand to stand her up. So she came with a lot of different things. And in the gem toy line, there was also various uh, play sets released, uh, various fashions for each of the dolls. There was even an iconic gem car that you could get that was this bright lime green and bright neon pink. And in the trunk of this car, the car was probably, I don't know, maybe this big. It was big enough for these dolls to sit in and drive around. Let's rock! But anyways, in the trunk of this car, you could open it up and there was actually an FM radio in the trunk that actually worked, which, oh my gosh, all little girls wanted this, <laughs> this car. Oh, I just wanted to show you the difference in size between Jem, right here, who is a 12.5 inch tall doll. And then this is Barbie. So I'll put them together here. So you can see Jem is a little bit taller than Barbie. <laughs> Again, while I was out uh, thrifting, Value Village, the same place I found the gem doll, I found this Barbie. Um, and this, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I think she is Dream Fantasy Barbie from 1990. Um, Dream Fantasy Barbie was a Walmart exclusive back in the day, and she had this big poofy, um, like mint green, light blue um, dress or outfit. So she came with a, um, like a silver fitted tank top and a short mint skirt. Um, I think, I'm not sure if they were attached, if they were like one piece or two separate pieces. And then she also had a sheer mint long poofy skirt that you could put on top. Just like many of the Barbies, they all come with all these different pieces that you can mix and match or, um, style her in different ways. Um, she also came with a sheer mint shawl, uh, silver earrings, which she doesn't have anymore, but she does have her matching silver ring, um, a silver necklace, and like a mint, mint color shoes to match the dress. Okay, you guys, last toy, but not least, is this little guy. And I also got him from the thrift store. Um, I've just been having so much luck at the thrift store lately. It's, it's been great. Terrific! Um, but anyways, <laughs> this is Tenderheart and he's from the Care Bears toy line. And he is a three inch tall, posable Care Bear. So his legs move, his arms move. You can um, put them in different positions. You can sit them down, you can stand them up. Care Bears have to be in tip top shape, you know. Um, they all have these little curls or tufts of hair at the top, but the rest of them is all this uh, plastic material. I actually don't remember what year they were released, or years they were released. I'm assuming it was the 80s. Isn't that when Care Bears came out? Butterbrain! 
I'm gonna have to look into that. Um, but there were 15 of these posables produced. So 10 were released in the first series and five were released in the second series. Plus there were also Care Bear Cousins that were released in addition to that. So the Care Bear Cousins were like, um, there was a raccoon and an elephant and a monkey. They were all different animals. Whereas the Care Bears themselves were all bears. <laughs> and like I said, when I was talking about the green one that I found earlier, the Lucky, um, they all have these hearts on their bottoms. That's how you can definitely tell they're genuine Care Bears. Some of the Care Bears came with um, like a little accessory or a play piece, they called it, that they could hold in their hand. And Tenderheart came with a red hand mirror, I believe. You can see his uh, symbol on his belly here um, is a heart and it's faded. The center of the heart should be more red, I believe. It looks like um, a lot of it has come off and he's got pen marks on the belly as well. Um, but other than that, he's in good shape. Eh, he's got a few scratches on his nose there. His little tuft of hair is in good shape and he just needs a good cleaning. So Tenderheart Bear is, of course, he's the loving bear. His heart is filled with love and he absolutely loves helping everybody else out. Um, that's, that's his endearing quality, of course. <laughs> okay, you guys, that is all for today. That's it. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it and if you haven't already please go check out some of my previous videos for more 80s and 90s vintage girly uh, fun and nostalgia. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!